guys, Dobar Dan from the beautiful town of Stone, Croatia. It's about an hour, not even an hour, like 45 minutes north of Dubrovnik. Basically, this town is famous for the Great Wall of Stone, which is known to be the longest wall after the Great Wall of China. And maybe we need a fact checker on that, but I'm pretty sure that is true. I have no idea where I'm going but I'm gonna go this way. I'm in a little bit of a predicament because I left Naum this morning and there were no buses going to Stone, so I had to take a bus to Dubrovnik and then take a bus to come back here. And there's no place to put your luggage really except the tourist office and that closes at 2 p.m. It's like noon right now. So I literally have less than two hours to walk up the wall, come back down, get my stuff, and try to get to Dubrovnik. So basically, there's a whole lot of transportation and nuances of this day that just suck, but that's how much I had to come here because I've been dying to come here forever. I think it's worth it. It's just one day of my life and I'll get over it because it's so beautiful here. Okay, here we go. Checkpoint number one. So this is kind of the easy route. So then you can just go down there and then walk right back into the old town, which is just in there, and then you're done. So I think what I'm gonna do, go back down here and then walk in a V and then go back over there and get to that side. Let's go in here. what happens when there's no one here you can just dance like a crazy person or just like an idiot so another reason that I have to get back is because the guy who works at the ticket office here he's basically been flirting with me and he asked me if I had a ride back to Dubrovnik which ha, huh, I don't so if he can drive me back there uh, that would be amazing otherwise I have to wait here for another six hours for the next bus to Dubrovnik to come. Okay, so now I'm going to the long side. So I'm at a crossroads. I can go back that way, which would probably take me 15 minutes. Be able to get my bags and stuff, try to meet that guy to see if maybe he can give me a ride to Dubrovnik, or I can continue this way, which goes all the way over there. I don't know if you see there's people there. And it takes you all the way down there. And I don't even know how you even get back to over there, which is where my stuff is. So, um, yeah, I don't have time to go that way. That way, I don't have time but I'm still so happy that I even got to come here. So guys, now I'm in a little town called Kobash. Um, that person did give me a ride and I'm whispering because I'm hoping that he doesn't kill me. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like hitchhiking, but not. Because I met this person at their work and then they offered me a ride. They like took an interest in me and that's why this situation is very irresponsible. Hopefully I don't die. Anyway, this place is so beautiful. So we're just having seafood lunch and wine. Let's go. 